And this morning we've got a bunch of kids coming for my first ever permaculture day. And I'm really looking forward to it. This little guy I found on the lemon tree this morning. The question is, will it duck? Let's have a look. Yep. <laughs> it was ducking very good. And okay, so we've got seven eggs. One is busy lying. The very first thing always for the kids is the swing. This breaks the ice. This gives them such a rush to do. The next step obviously is to have them in the vegetable garden. Uh, eating and tasting produce. Wees my... Always, always, always nice to see funky vegetables. And then they are pulling weeds and feeding that to the pigs. They're going to pull weeds and feed that to the pigs as well. And But at first they are going to taste some carrots. It's having loads of fun feeding the pigs. It is the, yeah. Bia, there. Slowly, 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 Mika. Careful. Are you guys enjoying it? Yes, very much. The teacher gave it a little bit of a try. <laughs> This riding was also a very big hit. Some people hiding under the shade and some people going for a little ride. <laughs> so um, what do you call this in your language? Omacha. Omacha. <laughs> Omapsia. Om, om, omapsia. Omapsia. Yes. And uh, what is it good for? Um, the, the fluid between the bones, but it's yeah. also just good for eating. For eating is very good, especially when when we were small. Yeah. We used to eat them. They are very nice. And this is the gum coming from an injured tree. From what tree? From a tree that tree yeah, that was injured. That was injured. Yeah. yeah. They are very nice. Three three gum. I can see these ones are not that uh, uh, sweet. Yeah. But from other areas, there are some that are very sweet. You you you, you just um, as you as you eat it, eat it, it's just like a sweet or something like that. It's very nice. But as you said, it's also good for one's health. Just for interest sake, um, just for the video, if you don't mind, mm -hmm. uh, tell me what did you think about the water harvesting system. The water harvesting system is yeah. it's actually what did you say? What, do, what is it called? Well, the the permaculture. Yeah. Permaculture. The that one is my first time to hear about something like that, and it's a real. Sorry, the phone was phone was ringing. Okay. Um, you say it's your first time to hear yeah, about it's the. the first time to, to be introduced to something like this. Yeah. And I think for us as Namibians, when our country which is so dry, we we really have to to do something like this because now then we we won't be having that much of problems when it comes to those things. During uh, dry seasons, we have water. Maybe we must put something like this into your school as well. Yeah. Water harvesting and a water tree. Water harvesting and so forth. So that's yeah. why I'm saying that it was like a godsend kind of something just for us, for you to, to invite us to this place. And what we have learned really, and the way the kids are enjoying this is so wonderful, it's so marvelous. We really thank you for that. It's a big pleasure. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Thank you very much for coming. Then our old friend came to visit. Mika, show me quickly. <laughs> so Mika just picked him up. Chameleon, go show it to your friends. <laughs> Come check here. 
Got it. He wants to touch it. Do you want to touch it? Yeah. Just touch it softly, ne? Softly, softly. Then a very interesting thing happened. The old kids that's been here for years, or that's always here, they incorporated these kids. Some of them went swimming. Some of them were part of the horse show on that side. I don't know if you can see through the bushes there. There's a horse show going on there. They took some there. And then some of the teachers... They just ended up becoming part of the family and just sort of incorporated and disappeared into the bushes, you can almost say. Everybody just fell, fell into place, which was a very nice experience. And then all of a sardine, it went quiet. Everybody's on the farm somewhere, exploring the world. I'm sitting at the campsite all by myself. I don't know what happened to everybody, but they're all having a great time. But that is the end of my story. Um, I invited these people maybe three weeks ago and they sort of went quiet. And I'm very glad they showed up. Um, and this week when they phoned me, they said, listen, the kids have been so excited and what, what, what. Uh, I'm very glad that they ended up coming and this is the way we are going to be spreading permaculture into Africa. See you tomorrow.